Looking for a home that can fit your growing family and your budget? Two known popular options that most people think of are building a home or buying a home. They're popular for very different reasons. So let's take a look at the reasons for building a brand new home after buying a lot or buying an existing home and also what type of home buyer fits each one perfectly. For many people, building a home exactly how you want it on land that you could purchase or maybe even that you own is a dream for many home buyers. What I wanted to talk about today are the drawbacks on building on land such as this. Building on land, number one, it can take a lot of time. It can take time to get plans approved by the town hall. It could take a lot of time just to have the home constructed. So if you need the equity in your current home to be able to put down on the new home that you're going to be building, you're going to have to find temporary housing while your home is being built, which typically takes between four to nine months, depending on the builder. So how about buying an existing home? The benefits are you can move right in, so you don't have to find that temporary housing. And so you can sell your house in the morning, buy in the afternoon. But the drawbacks are you're moving into a home that's been lived in already. So the components like the hot water tanks, the electric, the roof will need to be replaced sooner than on a brand new construction. The most important and defining difference between a newly constructed or new construction home, building a home and buying an existing home is the loans and financing that's available to you as a buyer. So if you are building or buying this new construction home, you are gonna be limited to just conventional loan options where you're putting at least five to 10% down and you need to have a certain credit score. Versus buying an existing home really opens up the financing options where you can do conventional loans, FHA loans, VA loans, USDA loans, and also we wanted to mention seller's assistance. You can typically negotiate to get some of your closing costs paid for by the seller on an existing home, whereas on a new construction or building your own home, that's just not an option in most cases. So the build a home versus buy a home debate, ultimately it comes down to financial availability for most families. And ultimately it's why we feel that this hybrid we're gonna introduce you to is the perfect choice for most home buyers. Come check one out. We're gonna go and see a pre-built spec right now. A pre-built spec is an existing home that is brand new where the builder or developer owns the lot and they are using their own funds to build this home. Come on in and let me show you some of the benefits of this spec home. So the second benefit of this home is the new amenities. Everything has already been picked out and selected. Now, if you find a spec house that hasn't been 100% complete yet, you may be able to change a few things in the design. So take a look at this large island that has seating all the way around. It is quartz countertop. So this kitchen has the feel of a custom kitchen. Um, the taller cabinets, soft clothes, it does come with stainless steel appliances. Here in the living room, you do have coffin ceilings, you have a gas fireplace, but the best part is these amazing views. I'm Megan Marsh. Make sure you subscribe or follow, and you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So you're obviously gonna save some money on your utilities. You have a tank with hot water, brand new furnace, The pre-built spec home. So the pre-built spec home 
is perfect for many buyers. And a pre-built spec is a home that the builder purchases and owns the lot, builds the home using their own funds versus a new construction loan, and when the home is 100% complete, that's when you as a buyer are purchasing that home and you can move right in. Lastly, all these financing options are available on the new, on the spec homes. So it gives you the best of both worlds. I'm Megan Marsh. Make sure you subscribe or follow, and you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.